In this video, we will demonstrate how to create text in AutoCAD for your design. So, the first thing you want to type in is M-T-E-X-T. -E so, M-T-E-X-T. -E M-Text. And hit Enter. It's going to ask for your first corner. So, it just wants to know where do you want to put the text. So, you just arbitrarily make a box somewhere near your design. doesn't matter where. And then you begin typing what you want to say. And so let's put in here, um, let's use uh, the famous McDonald's tagline. Um, or, I don't know, I don't know whose tagline I want to use. Let's use uh, Nike, just do it. So there it is. Now. Anytime we're doing engraving on the laser or the CNC router, we have to use a font style uh, that is different than that very plain text. So if we go up here and we have all these options we can pick from. Look at all these options. There must be a few hundred of them. We'll start at the very bottom. Some of them aren't really going to be very good text, uh, but some of them are. And you can pick what you want if you have your text highlighted like I do. It will automatically start adjusting your text to the font that you have selected. And so I'm just going through a few of them here. Oh, I like that one right there. So there it is. And I'm going to click on it. Now, you might have to scale your text up. If I go to scale, it says, hey, select scale objects. So I left click release, left click again, I hit enter or right click, and then I just click somewhere and I can either make it bigger like with my mouse or I can type in a number. I'll put in two. So now it's twice as big. Now if you are creating this text to be engraved on our laser, you're done. Other than moving it to wherever you want it on your design, scaling it, rotating it, whatever you want to do. Maybe you have more than one line of code. You can just go up to copy, click on it, move it straight down. Then you can double click on it. Let me get it here. There we go. And you can change it to say whatever you want. Just did it. <laughs> but whatever you want to do. Um, you can copy it. I'm going to delete that. Hit delete. So, so if you're going to be doing this on the laser, you're done. If you're going to be engraving this on the CNC router, we have a few more steps. So the first thing I'm going to do is type TXT EXP. TXT EXP. You can see down there at the command prompt. That stands for Text Explode. I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to click on the object, and I'm going to hit Enter again. And then I'm going to go up and make sure it's on the zero layer by layer. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is overkill. Click on that, select my object, left click release, left click again, and I click OK. And so now it says 10 overlapping objects and zero duplicates. So I'm going to do it again, overkill, hit enter, click OK, and now I have zero duplicates, zero overlapping. The last thing I'm going to do is go up to the trim command, or I can type in trim, and I'm going to click on everything that's inside that I don't want. So I'm clicking on all of these things. So when you explode text, it does a lot of things to it that aren't good for it. Um, one of the things is it kind of breaks it up and you see all these extra lines. So. Once you have exploded it, overkilled it, and then trimmed out all the extra, you're done. And the last thing you would do is you would go up to File, Save As. You'd go to the desktop. You'd call it whatever you want to call it. And save it to the desktop. And then you would drop it into Box.com. And once you drop it into Box.com, you would close out the file and you would delete it off the desktop. And that is how you create text in AutoCAD for our projects and what to do based on whether or not it's going to be on the laser or the CNC router.